Hi everyone, I am Natasha Suresh, proudly presenting the Trivandrum branch on the best Anglo-Indian talent platform. At the outset, on behalf of my branch, I wish each and every one of you a meaningful Valentine's Day. We are happy to present, and so the story begins, the story of Sarah and Noah. We have incorporated three songs and a poem by Pablo Neruda. Please sit back and enjoy. And so the story begins. It was a bright and sunny day. Noah was really excited about that particular afternoon. He was finally going to meet Anne, who was on a work trip for months. Sitting in their favorite cafe, eagerly waiting for her, time just flew. One hour in, and no one came. A few seconds later, he got a text message saying, I don't think we should talk or see each other. Bye. His heart broke into a million pieces. He did not know if he was angry or sad, and he also did not know the reason for this decision made by Anne. More than a year passed by. His friends tried to cheer him up, and it was during one of those days when his friend Rick told him about this app where he could meet new people and that it would help him move on. After refusing to use the app, one evening Noah decided to create a profile. A few minutes later, a message popped up from the app which read, Hey, from someone named Sarah. He replied and they ended up speaking on for hours on end. It became pretty late at night and they did not even realize it. From that day on, they started texting each other every single day. It just felt right and talking to each other made their day.
After a few months, they decided to finally meet. But that's when the world changed with the arrival of COVID-19. And the whole world was under lockdown. What bad timing. But still, they tried their best to talk every day. Days went by. Due to COVID-19, many people were losing their jobs. And unluckily, so did Noah. He immediately started hunting for a new job in vain, and that made him frustrated. He was under a lot of pressure and was moving from place to place to get a new job. Noah was yet to have a proper conversation with Sarah about losing his job. He didn't know if without a job, she would still love him. So whenever they spoke, he would lie about working. Sarah eventually started to get a feeling that something wasn't right. Sarah had a friend who worked in the same company as Noah. One day when she was catching up with her friend, she came to know that Noah had lost his job. She felt so angry and hurt not because he had lost his job, but since he was lying to her for so long. She decided to confront him. He was at a job interview, but she didn't know that. Their conversation turned into a huge argument. It got heated soon and the call didn't end well. Days passed, weeks passed, a few months passed. Meanwhile, Noah was able to get a job, but he also knew that he had messed up big time with Sarah and didn't know how to fix it. He tried calling her and texting her, but there was no response from her side. Without Sarah, he felt like a piece of him was missing. As she was climbing the rocky terrain, the words of the poem, If You'll Forget Me by Pablo Neruda started reverberating in her mind. If You Forget Me by Pablo Neruda I want you to know one thing. You know how this is. If I look at the crystal moon, at the red branch of the slow autumn at my window, if I touch near the fire, the impalpable ash or the wrinkled body of the log. Everything carries me to you, as if everything that exists, aromas, light, metals, were little boats that sail toward those isles of yours that wait for me. Well now, if little by little you stop loving me, I shall stop loving you little by little. If suddenly you forget me, do not look for me, for I shall already have forgotten you. If you think it long and mad, the wind of banners that passes through my life, and you decide to leave me at the shore of the heart where I have roots, remember that on that day, at that hour, I shall lift my arms and my roots will set off to seek another land. 
But if each day, each hour, you feel that you are destined for me with implacable sweetness, if each day a flower climbs up to your lips to seek me, ah, my love, ah, my own, in me all that fire is repeated, in me nothing is extinguished or forgotten. My love feeds on your love, beloved. And as long as you live, it will be in your arms without leaving mine. Sarah returned home, refreshed and rejuvenated. She started living her life, got back to work, and also spent her free time doing social work in a palliative care unit. Almost a year went by. It was Valentine's Day, and she wanted to spread love among the inmates of the caregiving palliative home. While she was singing to Huma, one of the old patients, a familiar voice joined her. She couldn't believe her eyes. It was Noah. He had come to visit his old dying auntie. They met again, never to part. A love is a lie. So we begin Foolishly laid our hearts on the table Stumbling in A love is a flame Love is a love. 